Very good morning to all of you. This is Divya, working as assistant professor in the department of ECG, RMK College of Engineering and Technology, Chennai. In this video, we are going to see introduction about PLL and a simple problem based on PLL. Let's get into the topic now. This is the block diagram of PLL. So this PLL, um, PLL stands for face locked loop, has four basic elements. These are the circuits that are used to maintain synchronization between the input and output frequency of oscillator circuits. How can it maintain the synchronization means it will compare the difference in phase angle of the two input signals. Thus phase locked loop consists of phase detector, low pass filter, error amplifier and voltage controlled oscillator in short we will call it as VCO. The incoming signal is mentioned as Vs. The frequency of the incoming input signal is mentioned by Fs. The output of the error amplifier is the input to the VCO. We call that as control voltage Vc. The output voltage of the VCO is called as free running voltage with the frequency free running frequency. We call it as F0. This phase director compares the input frequency Fs with the feedback frequency F0 and generates an output signal which is a function of difference between the phase angle of the two input signals. This output is a DC voltage. This is applied to the low pass filter to remove any high frequency noise that may be present in the DC voltage. Then the data is amplified. The error voltage is very small. So this voltage is amplified by the error amplifier and fed this error voltage or control voltage to the VCO. So now this VCO in response to the control voltage will change the output frequency of the oscillator so that the incoming frequency Fs is equal to the output frequency F0. Then we say the PLL is locked. We see a problem on PLL now. The question for us is a PLL has a free running frequency that is F0 value is given as 500 kilohertz and the bandwidth of the low pass filter is 50 kilohertz. Will the loop acquire lock for an input signal of 600 kilohertz? Justify your answer. This is a question. We have to check whether the PLL will acquire lock or not. Let's have a block diagram of the PLL over here. So now we can see So now we can see we have a block, phase detector block, low pass filter block, error amplifier block and receiver block. Now we have given us the free running frequency of the oscillator is 500 kilohertz. So what is given to us is F0 is equal to 500 kilohertz. Bandwidth of the low pass filter is given as 50 kilohertz. So here the frequency is 500 kilohertz. Bandwidth of this low pass filter is 50 kilohertz. So let me mention over here too. Bandwidth is equal to 50 kilohertz. Input signal frequency is mentioned by Fs. So, Fs is equal to 600 kilohertz. So, the incoming frequency is 600 kilohertz. So, now this phase detector will actually produce both some frequency component and difference frequency component of the two input signals. So, we have uh, 600 kilohertz one input. Another input is 500 kilohertz. So in the outputs of detector, I will be having some component as frequency of the sum component is 500k plus 
600 k which is equal to 1100 kilohertz difference frequency produced at the output of phase detector is 600 k minus of 500 k which is equal to 100 kilohertz so these are the two outputs available at the phase detector so these two frequency components are fed as input to the low pass filter this low pass filter has a cut off frequency of 50k the input signals are 100 kilohertz and 1100 kilohertz which means no signal can pass through the low pass filter because the bandwidth of the filter is only 50 kilohertz the incoming signal frequency is minimum 100 kilohertz and another one is 1100 kilohertz these signals cannot pass through this 50k bandwidth low pass filter hence the pll cannot acquire lock cannot acquire lock now if the bandwidth of the low pass filter is increased to 100 kilohertz then we can acquire lock if it is 100 or more than 100 we can acquire lock so minimum value for low pass filter bandwidth is, is equal to difference frequency component if so we can acquire lock else we cannot acquire lock so for this given question since the bandwidth of the low pass filter is less than the difference frequency component the pll cannot acquire lock hope you can understand the pll operation thank you all we'll meet again in the next video